and this is what we're going to use today to if you're overcoming writer's block or you just ran out of ideas and you can't really come up with anything to see in your audience and so how to use this is you come over here to the side you can pick whatever language that you want so you can choose whatever language that you want in here i'm just going to stick with english and then you got the creativity right here i'm just going to keep that on regular and then you have the subject line right here so i'm going to put something in the subject line here so the ai knows what kind of content to create for me here so let's just paste that let's see if we can type this out so it says like what to do if you're please are not buying from you okay and you got a tone of voice right here so i'm just gonna keep that on professional and then you also have to put in something like a company name so you can just put whatever you want in there like a company's name and then for the business description what i'm just going to tell ai is like what my description is so i'm just going to put in something like more business and let me see marketing coach here all right so after you've done that then when you come down here you can choose how many results that you wanted to create and i'm just going to pick one so you just pick one right there and you just hit the generate button and it's going to generate me some content for my newsletter so i'm just going to create the generate button and this is going to take just a few seconds here it's probably not going to take up to 30 seconds okay it is done already and let's read over this and see how it sounds here so it says, hello, value uh, subscriber. Welcome to another edition of X Anthony Johnson's newsletter, uh, where we keep you updated on the latest trends and strategies in online business and marketing. Today, we will be discussing some common issues faced by many businesses, low sales, despite having a steady flow of leads. As an online business and marketing coach, I have seen this problem arise time and time again which is why I want to address it in these details. We all know that generating leads is critical for your business. It takes a lot of effort, resources, and time to attract potential customers towards your product and services. However, what happens when those leads do not convert into paying customers? So let me skip down a little bit. Let's see what it got here. It says, first, it's essential to analyze your target audience and their buying behaviors or your targeting the right uh, audience um, who would be interested in your product and services okay that makes that makes sense there if not then it's time to reevaluate your marketing strategy and identify the gaps by understanding your target audience better and can tailor your messages and offers accordingly okay so that is a really good tip right there because if you're first starting off and you got the wrong leads coming in that's probably why you're not going to be getting the sales that you want because these people are not going to be interested in your messages that you're sending them because they're not really interested in your product or services. So that makes plenty of sense here. So this is pretty good. Uh, I like this uh, newsletter. It's some things that I probably would change though, like this beginning up here. I wouldn't uh, probably say like uh, hello value subscriber. I probably would put something like something simple like uh you know hi in their name up there uh i probably wouldn't put this welcome to another editions of the of this newsletter i probably would skip that out so it is some things that i would change but i also like the way that it just overcomes that writer's block for you so you know it gets you going and that's exactly what i need you know and it didn't really finish it didn't really finish off the newsletter which I kind of like that also because I don't want just to have the whole thing written by AI. You know, I want to put in my words inside of there so my audience knows that this is coming from me. I just wanted to give me some good ideas to get me started. And that's exactly what it has done. Now I can take this. I can add a few more things to it. I want to add a few more things to it. And I want to maybe add in something like uh, a CTA to it. 
and you know to the bottom I might want to add in some of my social networks and stuff like that but it has got me going so I'm going to roll with this right here and it also you can check the uh, plagiarism right there that plagiarism checker you can copy this and you can save this so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just save this right here and now I'm gonna get started on the email subject line so let's go over to let's go back and we're going to go back to all of the tools again and we're going right back over to marketing and but now we're going to go over here to the email subject line because we're going to create our email subject line so i'm going to click that one okay so now we're inside of the email subject line it's going to tell you what it does so what it does is it's going to generate catchy and optimized email subject lines for your business that's exactly something that we're going to need and you can start off with the language now you can choose whatever language you like right here and you got the creativity right here you can read over that to see what that does uh, we're going to stick with english there all right and it has the tone of voice professional i would probably really go for that one and then the audience so let's just go with uh business owners and the product name and you got the uh, product description right here so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to keep it the same here so i'm just going to put in the same thing what i put in for to create my newsletter and i'm putting what to do if your leads are not buying from you so I'm going to copy this, and we're just going to put that in as a description also. Okay, and to the bottom right here, now you got a number of results that you want it to create for you. And it's got four right now. I'm probably going to do, for the subject line, I might just do two of those. So I'm just going to generate two subject lines right here. So generate. Okay, that was fast. And even one of them has an emoji in it. And that's something that I was going to speak about later on. But uh, it has an emoji in it. So, you know, that might grab the attention of your audience when you're sending out these emails and stuff like that. But I'm going to speak a little bit more on that later on. And so this is what the subject line that has came up with. It says, boost your sales with this lead conversion strategy. Okay. And that it has boost your sales tips for converting leads into customers. Okay, this one sounds like it might be better, you know, based on the um, the newsletter that it created. So it's saying that tips for converting leads into customers, because that's what we wanted. That is what the whole thing is about. Is is that you're not getting your leads to buy from you. So you want to have a, a subject line like this right here where it can capture their attention and so that they can click and read your newsletter. So that's that's like one of the most important things you want them to do is you want them to click on that link and then you want them to start reading and click whatever CTA that you have available. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this also. And OK, so that is saved. So I like this one, the best one. So now, now you have really, you're, you're almost done here. So you've got your email subject line right now and you have, um, uh, you still have a little bit of work to do with your newsletter. You know, you want to add in, you know, your personal uh, way of how you communicate with your audience inside of that newsletter, right? So there's two more things that you want to do here. So what you want to do is, this subject line, you want to check and see if this is going to be a subject line right here that's going to be good. And let's go over to, so I got some of this information um, from HubSpot. So I went over there and I just, uh, I said, well, what would be a good subject line, right? So I went over here to HubSpot and look at, check out some information and there's two things that you really want to do is you want to check and see if that if that uh, subject headline is going to be good, that it's going to catch their attention. Um, 
a few other things that you might want to check and then you must want you must well check for the email spam checkers also for these spam filters if they catch and it, and they sense that it's going to be like spam then that defeats the whole purpose of even creating this newsletter right so you might as well do these checks before you even send it out and you know you get a uh, flag that spam and stuff like that because they're really tough on this right now so you know you want to make sure that information that you're sending out it's not going to get uh flagged as spam so so this is one right here i'm going to show you this one right here this is one that hubspot has recommended right here on their blog so this one right here so what you could do is you can send that to this email right here and then you can view your reports and stuff like that right here so that's going to check for the spam and another one i found this one here it's called subjectline.com uh, where you can put in your subject line right here okay let's test it out real quick so i'm going to drop this uh subject line in here and we're going to click the evaluate Wow, so look at that. I got a subject line score of 97 out of 100 right here. So let's see what it says down here. So the marketing results is that it contains any word that has more than eight characters. And okay, the it needs a subtitle urgency. That's minus uh, like the same 14 points there. Uh, length is over 50 characters. It got like a minus four. Okay, it includes words you or your it got uh, plus four points contains emoji character now this is what I was speaking about earlier that you might want to throw in emoji character in there so that can capture the attention of your audience all right and so if you read down you just look over these things right here these are some things that you can do that's going to be good for a subject line right here okay so there you go so I hope that you guys have looked at this here and be like wow this is something that I can do right here. Um, let me go back over here to Copymatic. So this is this Copymatic AI. So if you like what you've seen, I got a link down there where you can uh, get a free trial if you like, if you want to try this out. And Copymatic also, it can write content for your blog. They also have a, let me go back. Uh, let's go back to the home page here Okay, so we're back on the home page right here And so these are all the things that you can do right here. Let me click on all the tools It has an article generator. You can do blog post writer. It got a smart editor. It got a content writer And let me scroll down and there it goes the landing page. You can even create your own landing pages uh, It has the about us call to action I mean, it has press release, video script, intros, if you're having problems with that, uh, confirmation emails. So it has a ton of things that it can create for you using AI, guys. So I hope you like this video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. And thanks for watching.